The law of attraction, amazing, amazing thing, absolutely powerful. And everyone talks about it in the personal development world. But, but, is there a downside to the law of attraction? Let's find out. Welcome back. So, the law of attraction, what do I mean by, is there a downside? Well, something that's occurred to me, I suppose in the last few weeks, maybe a couple of months, is something that I never really considered. And the more I thought about it, the more it, it made sense. So, let's rewind back. Since watching The Secret and finding out all about the, the concept, it's been something that means a lot to me and I kind of understand it and totally believe it. And the fundamental, if you don't know what it is, it's basically we attract what we are. So if you're positive and you're optimistic and things like that, you're going to attract that kind of thing into your life, whether it's people, situations, whatever. And if you're negative and complaining all the time, you're just going to manifest more of that into your life. That's the worst explanation of the law of attraction, but you kind of get the idea. It's all to do with quantum physics and manifestation of energy and vibrations and what you put out to the universe you get back essentially what i've realized is that throughout my life i've achieved certain things and been good at certain things not so good at other things and something i've realized i've always sort of felt that perhaps i've a lot of it has been in the right place at the right time maybe maybe not maybe maybe not but what i've come to sort of understand recently is really I was kind of utilizing the law of attraction I was thinking certain things and putting a certain energy out there and therefore the right things kind of came and manifested themselves into my life so that's all fine and everything's Gucci however there's a downside and this is something that's sort of hit me really the last couple of days and the more I thought about it the more it's like wow yeah Eek. and what the downside is this if you constantly are putting out good thoughts, good vibrations, good energy into the universe with the either expectation or understanding that good stuff is going to come back to you, which is perfect. When things are a bit shaky, it's natural, and I'm speaking from personal experience now, but it's natural that that thought of everything's going to be fine because generally it always is, that thought is sort of present because if you can always utilize the concept of the law of attraction and put out the good energy and the good things have happened and all that good stuff it makes sense that you're in the back of your mind you're always going to think everything's going to be fine i don't have to really stress about it because i put out good thoughts good things come everything will be fine in the end perfect now because of that thought, everything's gonna be fine in the end, and the way things have transpired throughout, personally, my life, the dangerous fine line exists between achieving goals and big success, whatever that means to you, and just scraping by. And the fine line between the two is because you know, speaking personally, because I know everything's going to be fine in the end, it's very easy to not take the extra steps, do the extra work, take the extra action to manifest those bigger goals and successes because inside my mind it's going, everything's going to be fine kind of carry on because so far everything has turned out okay therefore you don't have to put in a big lot of effort because everything's going to be fine carry on as you are and all good you that's the problem because that way everything being fine and not being bad is one thing and that's not a bad situation to be in but it's hugely different to the goals and success that I or you want I said that thought in your mind or my mind saying everything's gonna be fine almost do the minimum effort and don't stress about it because it's all gonna be good all gonna be good and stratospheric success ultimately are two very different things but from that mindset it's very easy to confuse the two that it's all gonna turn out fine where fine your definition of fine or my definition of fine was there but actually definition of fine is here and so the, the mindset of everything's gonna be fine it's easy just to confuse 
that fine with that fine. And therefore you kind of go along, personally speaking, procrastinating, doing f**k all, and taking no action. And yes, nothing's bad from a sort of everything turning out point of view, but it's not there. And then you kind of go, but it shut up. I'm putting out the vibes and all the good stuff, but I'm not getting that success, business, financial relationship, whatever it is, I'm not getting that. But why? It's because I, maybe you have kind of sat back on our laurels as it were on the idea that everything's going to be fine i don't have to make the extra effort and take the extra action because i or you have blurred the difference between there and there because everything's going to be turned out good that's good and that's good so this may be the worst explanation of this ever my point is is that the law of attraction whilst it's super powerful and great and amazing and definitely you should embrace it it's not something whether you believe it or not it's a fact but it's more that it's easy to think everything's gonna be fine and therefore your current actions of just gone getting by or whatever it is you're doing that fine is gonna equate to that success whatever it is you're trying to achieve and actually they're very different things and I'm speaking from absolute personal experience on this. Yeah, and it's almost mortifying when you realize that I'm thinking, okay, you know, deep down, it's all gonna be fine. But that's not there, that's there. I said, that's not a bad thing. That's not, you know, not, things are gonna be fine, but not terrible. But in my mind, I've blurred the two. So I'm thinking everything's gonna be fine by doing nothing. And actually, no, everything will be here. That extra effort, action, whatever it is, needs to be done to move that to that. Whilst using the law of attraction and putting out the positive vibes and affirmations, etc., all that stuff. It's quite a realization I come to the other day and it was like, well, as soon as I thought about it, it just, all, everything makes sense so much. Because I'm thinking, well, I'm using the law of attraction. Why is this not working? It's not working because I was actually blurring things and not sort of using it properly as it were and yeah hugely hugely powerful now just a caveat on that when I'm saying obviously I'm thinking everything's going to be fine in the last few months I was had been in a very dark place and at that point it was difficult to be honest to see that everything was going to be fine you know I didn't think everything was going to be fine because of I was so um, inwardly focused and in just a horrible place so at that point, it wasn't the thought of everything's going to be fine. But as I, as I have come out on the sort of road out of that hole, then I can then look a bit more objectively on my life and see that certain situations, everything's kind of always turned out okay. And here I am as a sort of proof that even through that dark time, everything turned out okay. But okay is fine, but if you're looking for here, don't blur the two. So when it comes to achieving success, goals, whatever that may be for you, bear in mind that the law of attraction in itself, whilst powerful, you've got to be quite clear on what the outcome is going to be, rather than just, like I've done, just assumed it's all going to be fine. And then, to me, you know, confused the two and sort of, then frustrated because I'm not there and couldn't work out why it's not working. So hopefully that makes some sense. Hopefully, I, I don't know. It makes sense to me. So let me know in the comments, does that make sense to you? Have you sort of battled with the law of attraction and been eager for some success or a particular goal and not have it manifest and just sort of have been that kind of no man's land of like, how comes I'm doing the right things but I'm not getting it? So maybe this could be the situation. If you have, leave a comment below and if you have got some value from this you know what to do Smoosh! that like button till it blows and subscribe if you haven't i'd really appreciate it and hit the bell notification so you know when i'm releasing a new video but for now on this gorgeous sunny spring evening blue sky and all that good stuff i wish you good night bye bye see you tomorrow